Guys, how do you install Google Apps in your Mac? So there are three ways to do this. First one is using the App Store. Let's go to the App Store. So you can have App Store on your dock like I have over here or you can just press command plus space and look up App Store or you can even look it up in Launchpad. Let's look up App Store. So it has found App Store. Let's click enter. Now let's go to the search bar and type in Google. So it should theoretically give us all the Google applications or whatever applications Google has provided for Mac. Let's hit enter. As you can see, we have a few apps. So some of them are G apps pro for Google apps. Uh, apps for Google Apps, but none of them are actually for Google. Even though it says shortcuts for Google Apps, it is not actually from Google. So that is one thing you need to consider that App Store really doesn't have many uh, Google Apps or any at all at this moment. Other than that, these all are just third party apps. Just scroll down and you can see mail for Gmail and everything apps for Google Apps. Everything is a third party app. So that is one thing. If in the future Google is to make their apps available on the App Store, you can just download it and that would be very easy. But unfortunately, that is not the case. There is a second way is getting clients from the App Store. So what exactly are clients? So again, let's just go to App Store. And now I will type in Gmail. Let's click enter. And here you can see there is no real Gmail app that is made from Google. So you can just hit mail plus for Gmail. And as you can see, it is just in a way duplicating Gmail on your Mac. So this is the second way. And the third way is actually going to a browser and looking up your apps and then installing them. Now let's go to the browser. So currently I am using Brave. So we are in the browser right now. Uh, let's just say I want to download Chrome. So I can say download Chrome for Mac. So let's scroll down. And here you can see Google Chrome fast and secure web browser. Let's click on that. And here you can see download Chrome. You can just download Chrome from here. So you can you can give it whatever name you want where you want it to uh, download. You can do that as well. Hit save. And now it is downloading. So it is essentially downloading a setup for Chrome. So another thing is guys, let's just say I want Google Maps. So necessarily I don't have to download an app for it. So what you can do, I can just type in maps.google.com. And as you can see, Google Maps has opened up. So if I want to type in or look something up, I can just search in Google Maps. Let's just say I want to look up Peru. And here you can see Peru has uh, come up. So in case you want to navigate, you can grant it location access and you can navigate. But most people don't use the laptops uh, for navigation in their car or their bikes. So it really doesn't make sense. Another thing is if you just want to use Gmail, you don't have to download an app. You can just click on uh, gmail.com, have it pinned on your browser and that would be much easier. However, Google Chrome or Brave will allow an option which is install Google Maps. Here you can see. So it is just essentially downloading a google.com a google maps website on your uh, mac so here you can see brave browser apps google maps is now available so now that we have downloaded google maps where can you see it do you necessarily have to open brave and then dig for it not really so you can just go to launchpad and here you can see uh, probably at the end you will have google maps which is essentially downloaded from brave itself so you don't need to worry about it. So if I click on this and open it, here you can see it has created an application which is actually running on Brave and now it will uh, actually behave like an app. So you don't uh, even have to necessarily keep going to a website or an app if you want. So that is very handy and it will uh, automatically come up on dock as well. So it is very easy that way. So guys, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, drop a like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one.